Microsoft PowerPoint has a Rehearse with Coach feature that they've just rolled out, which allows students and teachers alike to prepare before they present their information. So we're going to start using this test presentation that I've created. Under the slideshow at the top, we have Rehearse with Coach. If you use the drop down menu, you can see that you can ask it to modify your body language or update any other settings to look for specific things that you want to change. This can include your pace and pronunciation, but also the originality of your presentation and repetitive language, things like ums and ands, like filler words, and can even track your body language. Once you have your settings set the way that you would like them, simply click Rehearse with Coach. It will ask if it can turn on your camera, and you must allow this just once. Now that the permissions have been updated, you get Start Rehearsing popping up in the bottom right-hand corner. I recommend leaving the Show Real-Time Feedback option on to help you while you're rehearsing your presentation. So now that I click Start Rehearsing, there I am, and I'll begin my presentation. I can now proceed with my slides in the way that I've already set them up. And as I'm presenting my information, it's tracking my body language and my words. So as I change from one slide to another, it's looking to see my placement in the camera and how I use my words. If I read too much off of the slide, it will tell me specifically that I need to adjust my originality and creativity to stop reading from the slide, just like it has there. And it will also track my pace. So if I'm going too fast or too slow, it can show up and let you know that. It'll also give you reminders if you look away from the camera, like I have here. Now that I'm done with my presentation, I can turn the camera on or off. I can turn my notifications on or off. I can try again. But once I've finished, I get this report. This report tells me what I've gone through and how long that it took me. And it gives me feedback on repetitive language, my filler words, inclusiveness, and every section has a learn more option where it can give me more details. If I look at any of these graphs, I can track the pace over time. And if I hold my mouse there, it gives me more feedback. You can also scroll down and use drop down menus to see good representations of your presentation and incorrect things that you may want to look at, such as the distance from the camera. At the bottom, it'll also look at your presentation as a whole for originality and things that we may want to make a little bit better. So you can see that rehearsing with coach is a great feedback tool for teachers and students alike.